Your smartphone is a portal to the most knowledge that's ever been available to us in the history of humanity, but it's also a source of endless distraction, chaos, doom scrolling, and consuming mind-numbing entertainment and memes that prevent you from achieving your goals. The average person consumes 50 minutes of entertainment to every one minute of education, and the average screen time in America is seven hours per day. According to the average reading time and the average book length, you could be reading one book per day with even just half the amount of time spent in front of a screen. Most people do want to learn. They're just being helplessly pulled in by the cheap dopamine rewards that these platforms put in front of them. We can't help doom scrolling. It's part of our nature to seek out tragedy. This is why rubbernecking is a natural phenomenon. We will willingly make ourselves later to where we're trying to go just to see some kind of tragedy. And this is why the news focuses on war, tragedy, and death, because they know people can't turn away. I've spent countless hours researching this phenomenon. I wanted to learn how successful people use social media and stay productive. And what I found was that an overwhelming amount of entrepreneurs simply don't watch the news. They're aware of the psychological tricks that the news plays on our mind to keep us feeling scared and anxious while not being able to turn away. Successful people also know that most of what's on the news doesn't even affect their day-to-day -day responsibilities. So how do the top performers in the world consume digital media content without getting sucked in by its distractions. The secret is they flipped the E versus E ratio, a metric that determines how much time someone spends on education versus entertainment. According to Brian Tracy, the amount of time someone spends on education versus the amount of time they spend being entertained is directly reflected in their earnings. If this is even remotely true, doesn't this seem like something that's worth taking action on? So here's three ways you can flip the E versus E ratio and enter the top 20%. First is to hijack your media consumption with education. And you could do this by listening to audiobooks in the car or podcasts about finance and personal development instead of listening to the same songs that you've heard over and over again. And this is what Brian Tracy refers to as turning your car into a university on wheels. You can start watching more educational content on YouTube so that the algorithm gives you even more of it. And don't be afraid to unfollow accounts on social media that are not adding any value to your life. Second is to start tracking your E vs E ratio with a note taking app or a pen and paper. This helps you to become more aware of how you're spending your screen time. It's not so much how much time you're spending in front of a screen, it's what you're doing with that time. So for example, if you're spending, say, six hours in front of a screen per day, and four of those hours are spent taking a course, that's a pretty good ratio. You're over 50% on your E versus E ratio. So you have to find out how much time that is you're spending, and that way you can adjust your E versus E ratio accordingly. And you could even automate this by using a habit tracker app, or even by adding the functionality in your daily note in Obsidian. And this relates to the third action you can take, which is to use a note-taking app like Obsidian or Notion to create a second brain so that you can seamlessly capture, connect, synthesize, and ultimately distribute the knowledge that you're acquiring. Doing this transforms your device from a source of endless distraction into a productivity machine. Capturing information and distilling it into intellectual assets that fuel your creative efforts. The top 20% are focused on learning and trying new things to improve their lives and the lives of others as a result. Be brave enough to be bad at something new and you'll excel beyond 80% of other people.